artists, art dealers, architects, all the, the big R's. Um, mostly, they, what they were were men that were far beyond the age that they were going to be drafted into the war or volunteer even into the war. They weren't particularly of the military uh, mindset either and were given this adventure, this idea of an adventure because they actually had this belief in the, that culture can be destroyed. Well, it was authorized by, by Roosevelt. And Eisenhower, and Eisenhower, and, yeah. Eisenhower. and um, the you know the the character that George plays uh, in the film uh, sort of you know spearheaded the whole thing. And, and in the real world, his name was Stout, yeah. and he and he was George George Stout, and he is his he basically pitched the idea of we got to look out for these things, and and uh, the big the big surprise was Eisenhower's involvement. He was very keen on the idea. He'd seen it in World War I. He was very keen on the idea of doing everything he could to, to make sure that there was something left when this war was over and the war was going to be over. Yeah. He couldn't do it early. That wasn't something they really turned around after they bombed Monte Cassino. Yeah. And they realized, you know, that was St. Benedict built that and, you know, they destroyed it and didn't have to. But they were faced with a sort of a political situation and they so they went ahead and did it and then they realized if we're going to do that we're going to be the bad guys when the war's over strangely and he yeah. wrote some he wrote some really eloquent letters to that uh mm -hmm. and it all kind of started with the idea that um we were hiding in, in the states we were hiding taking our great art out of museums and moving into places for fear that you know bombing that we were going to be bombed here in the states and you know, as they started talking about saving the art here, that all, that 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 went to the idea of well, we got to save the art, and the, and the, the historical uh, buildings and documents and everything uh, in Europe. Kate was Kate and I did the Good German together several years ago. Um, I think of her as, you know, the one of the two greatest living actors in the game, you know, she and Meryl, and I feel lucky that she was willing to do the part, first of all, and that she came on board and was so, you know, she and Meryl are very similar in that sense. Meryl always talks about how accents come like that to her. She doesn't have to work very hard, although she works very hard, but that she can pick things up. She has a good ear. Kate has a great ear, really great ear, so that so the accent doesn't become part of a problem in terms of acting, you know. She's just effortless, you know. And, uh, and when I say effortless, I don't mean that she doesn't put effort in it, but you don't see it, and that's when you're, when you're a real pro. She's a pro. And, uh, and fun and sweet. And kids are on the set. and you know, There was a, I just, we all enjoy our time with her, you know. She, there's never a moment that you think, this is a, one of the great actresses in the world, even though she is. She's just Kate. And she can hang with the guys. Yeah. And her character is also based on a, on a, on a real uh, Rose character. Rose Valland. Rose Valland, who's who was a, a French woman who was an assistant uh, museum director. And the things that she does in the film, those, those things are true. Mm -hmm. And she was a real hero. You know, I just, I, I'm a big fan of telling a good story that happens to be based on an amazingly, fascinatingly true event, uh, and that it's not a civics lesson, that it's an entertainment, and that they should enjoy themselves, yeah, they, and bring their family, and enjoy They had a good themselves. ride. And it was a good, fun ride. That's sort of what we, that's what we set out to do, and that's what we hope we're, we've accomplished with. Well, it's certainly the biggest art heist ever. I mean, there's no question about it. There's never been anything like it you know, millions and millions of pieces of art. It's the biggest, you know, treasure hunt. It's certainly the biggest art heist ever.